Hello there, I am playing more in Virtus Virtus, and in last part I actually got this box to appear after killing three Savars in this horrible, horrible chamber that I'm so glad I actually saved my progress in because I was half worried about that. I have no idea really what to do with this box, because as far as I know my goal is to get this light to hit that thing, but I, I don't know what to do beyond that. I don't really know how to proceed with that, but um, I also found out something important last part, which is that, well I can't see them now, they're not even here, but there's these fire runes, and I saw them before and I was like, whoa, what are those, th those things right there? It's a fire rune, and it turns out just a Tulagni on them, Uranutem, and Golden, so... There's another like chamber somewhere that I can actually get into that I didn't realize I could get into, but if I can't figure out this, we'll go back to it. Screw it, right? Obi Kanu. But for now, I am curious. Because one thing oops, Obi Kanu. Obi Kanu. One thing about um the stasis spell was that it was really cool to, like, make a platform with. In that one, um, like, lava chamber. I, I could, like, uh, make the discs appear and, and, and use them to move places and essentially climb wherever I wanted because there was two of them. But with teleport, it seems... I, I don't know. I don't know what my goal is here. I'm worried that... It, it, it has to do with the Rune of Motion again? Because, I don't know, I didn't show it, but I, I'm touching it now, and the door's not closing, so... Obviously it's not a factor anymore, so maybe not. Anywho, Obi Kainu. Opun Obi. Notema Tulopun. I, mm, I don't know. I don't know where to put this box, because obviously, as I saw in last part, any way I hit this won't go to... Oh fudge, where is it? <laughs> it's right there, right? Yeah, Ectolume. Like, even if I'm over there, on that platform there, which I'm imagining that's what it's for, but even if I am there, it does not it does not connect. And then... What does Ectolume... What does this do again? What? 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 Ectolume... What it... Is this just nothing? I guess it's not- I thought it rotated, but maybe not. What? Why is it not? I thought it was supposed to. Maybe- maybe I'll go upwards, maybe. Notema Tulapun. Oops. Notema Tulapun. This game is so weird to commentate to because I have to shut up every few seconds and cast a spell. I'm actually gonna cast one now. Um, oh, is there anything up there? Notema Tulapun. No, but I like it. Ecto lume. Ecto lume. Ecto lume. Is that still, still not great? It needs to be just slightly further out. If it was just slightly more. No, tema tulopun. It is, it is kind of close. Well, no, it's not even there. Where is it? Is it this one I'm on? No, tema tulopun. It is. Never mind. Not close. Not close in the slightest. Anywho. No, tema tulopun. What? Why is it not doing anything now? Is... Is it the box? Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. Not close enough? Oh, fudge took damage. Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. 
Whoops. Whoa. Alright, it was the box. It was. Oh, God. Now I'm dizzy. Huh? <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so, um... Opun OB. Okay, let's leave that there for a second. So I can stop it, and it'll stop for good. Because it'll keep trying until it gets to its destination, then it'll go back. Interesting, so I can stop it mid-bath. Ectolume. So wait, let me... Natema Tulopun. Ectolume. I don't, where does it go? Ectolume. Oh god, I've stopped it again. Whoops. That's not good, is it? Ectolume. Nutema Tulupun. Ectolume. No, it goes even further that direction. Nutema Tulupun. I don't think I can get over there. Whoops. Whoops. That was not Nuda Nutem, but thank you. Nutema Tulupun. Can. Ectolume. Is that good? Please tell me that's good. It was moved slightly. I'll just wait about 20 minutes just to see. No, maybe a little more. Maybe if I can just like jostle it slightly. The box, that is. Ectolume. Please, 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 please. I'm just gonna wait here until it actually works. It's perfect. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's right on. It's right on the pink dot. I'm sure of it. It's just lying to me. Ectolume. Please. Oh, I think it's working. I think it's working now. I think it's working. Something happened. That looks like an elevator. I'll take it. Notema tulipun. Notema tulipun. Notema tulipun. The secret was just, like, putting it out even further than I thought I should. That kind of worked, but I can't tell you how much of a chore that was. Because I kept dropping the box in the lava. And I kept having to spawn it back, you know, to the Auda, And then do the whole Actalume thing. It should have just, like, spawned back where it... I don't know. I'm complaining. It just seems a little unintuitive. Frustrating, but then again, I'm easily frustrated, so... I don't know. Notema Tulupun. Do I s- is there- There we go. It's just gonna rise automatically. Oh, this is sort of making me dizzy. There we go. This? Oh. Oh. Wall of fire. Flesh flees from fire. It is the deception brought by the existence to allow the proliferation of life. If living beings knew what key they shun with such terror, they would be ashamed. And yet, they would continue to avoid the flames, because that's what the unknown wanted and so always will be, until they will change wholly, and then the mind will have its eternal prison too. With the formula Agni Munio, I can conjure flames that burn on any surface. See, that seems nice. That would have been nice for that darn save our fight that took me 20 minutes. Not even 20. I meant that as an exaggeration, but even that, that's less time than it took me, actually. Cut that down to like 10, but still. Goodness. There's not going to be any combat beyond this point. That's what the game does. That's what games do. The, you get through a really, really hard fight, and then they give you the god sword. It's ridiculous. But this is gonna be awesome, no? Whoops. Oh, is this a portal? It looks like where I just was. Look at that pink crystal and everything. Uh, Agni Munio. That, that's, that was, that was a tool, Agni. Agni Munio. Am I saying it wrong? Agni Munio. Agni Acne. That's that's very okay. Acne Munio. I'm gonna. I'm not. Whoops! It did it. Warm welcome. It did. Oh God! It did it. Holy God! What? What? Did I kill myself? Is that what happened? Oh please don't say that. Holy God! Please. Oh no. Do I have to do that again? Do I have to do all of that again? 
happy is because I got overzealous with my full fire. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh good, give me a second. Ectolume. Oh, first try this time. Beautiful, okay. Learn my mistake though. God, don't use the new spell. Whoops, whoops, I've started talking. There we go. <laughs> Nutoma Tulupun. How embarrassing is that then? Nutoma Tulupun. It's, it's just, it's something I'm never gonna cast then. Oh, it didn't even allow me to move. I was wondering about this. I was walking all over and then. Okay. So. Got it, learned it, never gonna use it. Gotcha. <laughs> just for the puzzles, just for the puzzly bits. Whoops, where am I? Oh, this popped out here? Right, I know here. Here is here is okay. This I've walked this path many a time. Yep. Gotcha. It's this way. This way is the out way. I'm going to save immediately now. God, that's horrible. I just I really didn't expect the game. To just go ahead and kill me with a spell. Just oh here we go. Here's a use for it, isn't it? I'm supposed to melt this. And then a piston's gonna come down or something. Is that it? it? Oh, because they're frozen. Oh! Maybe this is good. Isn't this where I came in? And I had to like awkwardly descend. Because they were like jolted oh now they're frozen. It's changed. That's really cool. Hopefully that's allowed me to go up now. No tell my tulipun. No, Tema Tulipun. Or maybe, do I have to melt it? No, I can just go up this way. No, Tema Tulipun. No, Tema Tulipun. Because I'm very serious about never casting that fire spell ever, my god. No, Tema Tulipun. No, Tema Tulipun. So ashamed of myself. No, Tema Tulipun. Can't believe that happened as well. So, okay, that, that chamber looks done then. I'm gonna call it done. If I see that again, then again, I'm not gonna know it by the noise. I liked it because it kept making chunk 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 noises, and so I knew to avoid it. Whoops. Something made a boing noise. I don't know what that was about, but uh, let's assume it's good. I think I can melt this now. I'm just scared to do so. Oh, this is something. Duel with a nightmare. Oh, I'm an amateur archaeologist. Look at that. One of the worst nightmares of the explorers in the temple, at least the wise ones, are slender figures, skeletal, that roam floating like ghosts. The Shar Seth. Imbued with magic, these entities have an affinity with the arcane art superior to almost all known species, and this makes them very resistant to any kind of attack. Apprentices cannot hope to scratch their aura directly with their spells. Escape is by far the best option, although rarely possible. However, if the confrontation is unavoidable, a sufficiently expert enchanter can try to exploit some anomalies produced by the spells of the Sharseth himself. The knowledge contained herein, which can save your life, have required the sacrifice of many. Honor them, making good use of it. Listen carefully to the voice of the Sharseth. Even if it's horrifying for your ears, only by understanding what they are saying will you be able to know what spell they are about to launch and act accordingly. These are the formulas that they use frequently. Tivanum Udaki. It creates magic missiles and throws them against his target. A shield spell is fortunately enough to block them. The energy of the projectiles is akin to the aura of their creator and can cross it. You can damage him throwing them back. OBK knew and know that one. I wonder if I'm gonna learn to Valmum Daki. Probably not. They're not gonna give me an actual, like, damage shot spell. They're gonna give me a wall of fire that I can kill myself with. That's just this game so far. OBK knew. A telekinesis spell. While common enchanters have limited control over living matter, the Shar Seth can damage it through strong kinetic energies. When he is pronouncing this formula, answer back with a telekinesis spell. This will create a magical anomaly, condensed into an energy sphere. Concentrate on the orb to push it towards the Sarthes. Sar Sarthes, goodness. If you manage to hit him with his own spell, or hit him, his own spell will turn against him. Okay. Mohat Ikin. It creates a forest of thorns. 
requires the Sharseth a strong concentration in the area where he is casting, stretching his reaction times. Teleport behind him and he will not be able to follow you. The projection of the magical power on the affected area causes an imbalance of the aura that tapers behind the Sharseth. Those who have a good mastery of magic can exploit this weakness to hit him with any spell. Any spell? Okay. Alright. So that's like very much preparing me for another boss fight. In, in which this is the chamber for. I'm assuming. Which I have to melt. And uh, that sounds like fun. That sounds like a ton of fun. That sounds really nice. Um, I'd love like a save right now because obviously if I'm going to melt this wall there's a pretty good chance I'm going to kill myself if, if what happened last time happens again. I don't know what I did wrong. I didn't even see my health go down. I just all of a sudden died. But um, and I probably screwed up somehow. Oh, is this going to stop me though? Ectolume. No, what is it? Ectolume. Oh, if I get close enough, so maybe I can just do it down here. I don't know what that's stopping. Anywho, I think I'm going to cut it here and attempt that for the next part. So that's it for now.